Right, so you'll notice here the equation is not in the format that, sh that you can see straight away that it's got a horizontal shift and a vertical shift and even an amplitude change. It's not that format. What we do in this instance is we, we think about the method of plotting some x values and then finding the corresponding y value. One of the x values that I will always plot is, sorry, one of the y values I will always plot is the y where it cuts the y axis. Okay, and to do that, what we have to do is make x equal to 0. To find out where it cuts the y intercept, oops, okay, we have to make x equal to 0. And I'm just going to manipulate my equation slightly because I've made a big blunder. That's what it should look like. Sorry, it's been a long day, folks. Still recording. Might not put it on the internet, but... Make x equal to zero, right? Then we can actually work out what the y-intercept is. What, can you see what the y-intercept is going to be? 1 1 multiplied by the negative 4, right? Okay, and the answer is negative 4. Okay, so at negative 4, I'm going to put a plot. There it is there. Second step, that was the y intercept. Second step, I need to find out where the x intercepts are. To find out where the x intercepts are, okay, delete that equation. That's my equation. To find out where the x intercepts are, I'm going to make y zero this time. That's an x, that's an x, but this time y is 0. So these are the steps that you need to take. For finding the x intercept, make y 0. So straight away we should be actually be able to see two solutions for the x intercept. Can you call them out, what are they? negative 1 and positive 4. So the two x-intercepts are negative 1 and positive 4. Let's put a plot at negative 1 and a plot at positive 4. So far, I have found three plots on the parabola. The deal is, I need four, at least four. The x-intercepts, the y-intercept, but also the turning point where it turns the corner from seemingly a negative slope to a positive slope. To find the turning point, I need to go halfway between the two intercepts. Because of symmetry, you know, symmetry, if you fold it in half, it'll look the same both sides will map onto each other. Because of symmetry, can you see that, if I draw a line, this, yeah, 1.5. The line of symmetry would be down here, halfway between those two points, happens to be when x is 1.5. Yeah? So, get rid of that. Let's make x 1.5. We need that equation. Okay, so I put x equal to 1.5 in both places where x is, and I'm going to work out what the solution is for y. You probably possibly need a calculator, you possibly won't. I'll use a calculator. 1 plus 1.5, that's 
2.5 multiplied by what's 1.5 minus 4 negative 3.5 yeah happy Two point five. Two point five A. Eh? Multiply them together, you get six point two five. So in other words, when X is one point five at this spot here, we've got to go down to negative six point two five. So six point two five is there. Okay, and now we've got the shape of the parabola. Notice that this point here will actually reflect over to this point here. Because of symmetry, I can also put in that point there. Now, here comes the big test. If I put in into the program y equals x plus 1 and then the next bracket would be x minus 4 and hit enter my parabola should be in the right place and it is 